of the Lincoln Project dropped a brutal ad today uh, start, uh, with uh, actor Sam Elliott doing the voiceover. Uh, we're going to talk about that uh, on the flip side. Watch this. I can't believe we're having this conversation again. So here we go. You know who the candidates are. You know what's at stake. One candidate promises a divided America filled with lies and hate. And one stands for change. Kamala Harris has more courage, more honor, more guts than this guy ever had. So you decide, are we really going back down that same fucking broken road? Or are we moving forward towards hope, towards freedom, towards change? We know a strong middle class has always been critical to America's success. There's promise that lies in change, and the time for change is now. So what the hell are you waiting for? Because if it's the woman thing, it's time to get over that. It's time for hope, for change. It's time to be a man and vote for a woman. Yo, that was crazy there. Uh, so, of course, Sam Elliott, he starred in many uh, movies and TV shows, of course. Uh, he has his rugged uh, countryman looks. And, ooh, Lord, MAGA has been losing their damn minds, y'all. They are upset, mad, uh, talking about they're going to stop watching his, his shows uh, because he called them out. I loved it. I, I think it's a good... First of all, the Lincoln Project does great ads. I mean, look, look, th those former Republicans or still Republicans or never Trump Republicans, they know how to do some damn ads, Julian. They absolutely do, and that was a powerful ad roll, and I really loved it, too. I was sitting here... I don't know if y'all saw me chuckling over here, but the point is that we're, we're, we're coming down to the wire, and folks who are ambivalent, it's time for them to step up. And there are a number of issues, as we discussed earlier in this program, where there needs to be some stepping up. I want to go back for just a sec with the immigration issue from the perspective of this. We haven't done the economics of immigration. In other words, uh, the orange man would tell us that uh, they're taking black jobs, which my best job he wants a black job. But um, he would tell us this and that. But the fact is that we need immigrants. This country needs immigrants. Springfield, Ohio, has Haitian immigrants because they needed them. They didn't embrace them because they were just magnanimous. They needed people to work there. And we need to make that point over and over again. But Congo has made the point. We need to make several points over and over again. Democrats need to be a lot more aggressive about the points that we need to make as opposed to just letting this fool run roughshod over us and saying, oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. So that ad is the bomb, 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 and it hits some of the issues. If Are you man enough to vote for a woman? I think that's a really important point. Um, and I think it's really important that a guy who is identified as a macho man is making that point. Now, we know how narrow it is in the margin. We know we're talking about 1% here, 1% there. So I don't know who it, will, who it will sway, but good for him for doing it. Good for the Lincoln Project. You're right. The Lincoln Project does good work. And so we just have to shout them out for that and agree with them all the time. But they basically do good work. And there are a lot of people who are kind of, you know, coalescing around um, what the orange man is trying to do. And our job is to lift them up. And Roland, let me just say this to you. I was, uh, where was I? And people were rolling up to me, like, Roland Martin is a bomb. What you're doing is such a public service because these are some of the stories that we don't hear. So I want to just thank you for that because we really have to be clear that unless we're aggressive, we are aggressive in calling these fools out on their nonsense, they will continue to do it. And nobody, mainstream media will not yep. check them. Will not check them. Oh, it, it, no, in, in fact, I was I was reading. Um, uh, uh, I think Kara Swisher has a podcast, and she was on with this guy. And this guy was complaining. He was saying it was great seeing her on CNN. 
fact checking this Republican in real time, and he was they were on Abby Phillips show, and he was actually upset. He was like, "Yo," he said, "I like her." He said, "But how do you not fact check in real time? How do you let people come on there and lie about things, and you don't fact check them in real time?" That's what I love. Now I'm a Congo. I love about this particular ad. I love Sam Elliott going right there. If it's about the woman thing, basically get over it. Yep. I thought it was masterful. And this is the same thing that we're seeing the white dudes for, for Trump, I mean, white dudes for, for, for Harris are doing as well. They are going straight to the idea of, of manhood. You know, I saw an interview with uh, Hillary Clinton the other day, and she was talking about, people talk all this stuff, but I haven't seen Kamala Harris's uh, policies and all that stuff yet. She And Hillary said, I had more policies prepared than any president in history. And people just didn't give a damn to look at them because they, they wanted any excuse possible not to vote for for me. And that's what they're doing with Vice President Harris now. They're saying, well, I don't know her. I don't know this. And they're going to, we can end up going down the same trap of people who just don't feel comfortable voting for a woman. Because, you know, Biden was equally as prepared as Hillary, just in different ways, but he was a man. And I feel like that was the only thing that pushed him over the edge as it relates to Trump. They both had baggage. And so even though Vice President Harris has the wind at her back right now, the fact that she is a woman was going to turn a lot of people off. So, uh, interviews, I mean, ads like this, things that white got dudes for Harris are doing as well. These are really powerful because they go right at people's manhood and they're targeting them to get off for all of these nonsensical stereotypes. Stop living in the past like Trump and all his acolytes are and get up here and do the right thing. Just like they say, voting for Kamala Harris doesn't make you a Democrat. It makes you a patriot. Voting for Kamala Harris doesn't make and you're a man doesn't make you some type of wimp. It makes you somebody who's standing up for your family and the future of this country. Well, I'll tell you this here, uh, Jade, I love the chicken ad as well. Uh, just mock him as much as you can. He hates being mocked. And so I love it. Guys, roll that again. <laughs> I think that's pretty good, Jay. Listen, it is very comical and very true. Uh, one of the things that I love about the Lincoln Project is that they always have out of the box um, commercials and opportunities, but they are generally true on the truer side. But one thing I will say, you are so right. Uh, Trump hates being mocked. But I think the majority of us with common sense, we all look at Trump as if, you know, he's a mad TV comedy special, right? Or a comedy skit. Where it gets dangerous is that the other people who don't see him that way or as entertaining and the audience doesn't realize or care that he's actually dangerous, right? So I think with this opportunity and this advertisement is given an opportunity to say is that, hey, there's someone who looks like him who would ordinarily probably be put in the same category as him. However, I'm speaking on behalf of this lady that you would just have a fit of a woman was put into this position. You could, you, you don't want to answer under her. You cannot, you know, respond to her. You don't even see her as a human, essentially. However, I'm defending her and I'm on her side against you. So yes, I think they should keep playing it. I think they said they have a costume that people are going to wear to the rally in Pennsylvania. So I'm going to see what train tickets are going that way and see if I can be part of it because I need to see this, this costume, this chicken costume in person. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a 78-year-old billionaire who has not stopped whining about his problems. Oh, she had a big crowd. Oh, the crowd. This weird obsession with crowd sizes. <laughs> it just goes on and on and on. Hmm. America's ready for a new chapter. We are ready for a president, Kamala Harris. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message.